Google Pad is an interesting concept for a smartwatch. HTC's first quarter results were in and they're very, very bad. And Nokia's new pen points to significant camera improvements. I'm Jaime Rivera. And after Google Glass, uh, what's next? A Google Drink? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the lame news. Apple has just released iOS 6.1.4 to the public, and the update is so small that the file size is barely 11.6 megabytes. It only includes some minor improvements to the speakerphone performance and no mention on battery changes, but make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. If we discover anything, we'll definitely film a video out for you and let you know what the enhancements are. Now let's talk about HTC. The company's quarter results are in and they are catastrophic. Sadly, the delays in the launch of the HTC One were definitely bad. I mean, the company has posted 98% losses in profit in comparison to last year. That's right, there's only 2% left there, and obviously their revenue is down as well. Not as bad, but it's still down. Now, remember, the HTC One was pretty much launched in Q2, so this doesn't reflect what is going on with the HTC One. So stay tuned, we are expecting for HTC to see much better numbers next quarter. Now let's talk about Microsoft. Digitimes is reporting that the company is ready to launch or pretty much announce their second generation Microsoft Surface in June 26 on their Build Developers Conference. And apparently this device will not look at all like the current generation tablet, at least in size. If we do get any options, they'll be seven inches or nine inches, which is kind of interesting to see Microsoft doing this. So stay tuned for the rumors. Now let's talk about Nokia as the company has filed a new pen that allows them to build a smartphone camera with adjustable aperture. This will allow the camera to adjust to different lighting situations depending low light, good light, doesn't matter. But obviously we still don't know if this will be included in the possible Nokia EOS or EOS camera smartphone that will be launched in May as per rumors. You know, everybody's talking about the catwalk, so stay tuned, we will keep you posted on May. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Google, you know, that company that sells pretty much everything except the kitchen sink, and I hope they're not listening before they start selling one. But now they've patented a new smartwatch, and given the fact that we've heard the rumors of an iWatch, what took them so long? But wait a second. This Google smartwatch is interesting. If any of you know what Google Glass does, you know that it does have this touchpad on the right side of the glass, and it allows the user to navigate within the UI of Google Glass in order to be able to, you know, know, navigate through different menus or communicate. So the interesting part is that apparently this technology will be included in this smartwatch to allow you to navigate using the wristband, which is kind of interesting. Let's hope they don't use rubber for that. But that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, think about it. If you have the option, Google Glass or a G smartwatch with pretty much the same capabilities. In my particular case, I'd be taking glasses off all the time. I'm not a fan of using glasses. And, you know, I just feel that they're the next Bluetooth headset that will end up in the glove compartment of my car. But, you know, obviously watches are more ubiquitous. So leave us a comment down below. What would you consider you'd like, a smart watch or smart glasses? And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Foggenow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.